Hi and Assalamualaikum. We are from Group 4 and today we are going to present about our case study and our lecturer name is Professor Madia Dr. Azian Tibiti Ismail and welcome to our Hard Rock Cafe. Before we proceed uh, with the presentation today, let me introduce our team member that consists of one member, which is me, No Shekin Natasha, as a coffee shop manager, my friends, Nurin Fazana as a floor manager, Shahira, human resource. For the fourth one is Wan Ahmad Putra as our barista, and the last one is our cashier, Zul Fadli. So now, this is our agenda for today of our case study for Operation Management of Hard Rock TV. So we will present further about the introduction of background. Next is problem of Hard Rock Cafe that related with the topic in MEM 575. The next one is word process that we will we explain of the Hard Rock Cafe workflow. The fourth one is discussion. We will, we will discuss of a few issues related to the management of operation of Hard Rock Cafe. The fifth one is cost involved for variable and also fit cost, and the last one is suggestion to minimize cost. Assalamualaikum. I will start with introduction about Hard Rock Cafe. Hard Rock Cafe was founded in 1971 by Isaac Tigrid and Peter Martin in London. Today, Hard Rock International is one of the most globally recognized companies in the world and also known for its collection collectible fashion and music-related merchandise, memorable dining experiences, hard rock like performance venues, and more. Now, I will continue with further background about Hard Rock Cafe. Hard Rock Cafe came into the business as a leader and a major changes they have carried out during this period of time. Hard Rock Cafe started business 48 years back, and till now, they have focused on growing from a model of pub to a global power which deals with restaurants, hotels, and casinos. Every year, they will keep on updating the operation business models to stay relevant in the business in terms of business models and menus and customer. Now, I will talk about a problem mentioned in case study. First problem is the difficulty of effectively controlling staffing and scheduling to take into account seasonal and daily changes in demand in the Orlando tourist industry. Second. The, effect, the effectively managing staffing and scheduling to cope with fluctuating demand, maintaining consistent high quality service and handling the complexities associated with live music offerings and the extensive memorabilia collection. And the last one, in order to adapt to shifting this, Hard Rock Cafe is increasing the importance of live music and renovating its restaurants. So the chapter in MEM 575 that related is chapter 4, which is plan to let out, and chapter 7, which is uh, product planning. That's all. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nurin Fazana and I will explain about the workflow involved in the hard work cafe. Workflow or work process is the discipline of creating, documenting and monitoring the series of steps upon required to complete a specific task. It aims to optimize the steps to ensure the task is completed correctly, consistently and efficiently. Thus, the workflow related to this case study is the planning, next, the scheduling, and lastly, the controlling. First process is planning. As an operation manager, they must know the objective of the management. For this case, hard cafe management, it must provide high quality experience and products to customers as known as food with entertainment and also Food with experience. Other than that, the best location and layout must be planned systematically and efficiently. For example, location near the whole place of each generation or tourist attraction. For experience strategy, they must look at the markets and renting space at the right times. For layout strategy, it must be planned such as the kitchen flows for food preparation, memorabilia music and visuals, lighting, screens, and also expose the customer merchandise for sale. 
Employee must recruit and train to develop talents and skills. The well-trained crews are to prepare quality meals and the enthusiastic wait staff are to entertain customers. Costing also must be planned with the expected menus and the capacity. The second process scheduling, inventory control is the main factor for the quality management. The product must be forecasted when it will be delivered and when it needs to be restocked also based on the storage capacity. The fixed schedule must be initiated to have a systematic production process. Moreover, this process involves deciding when to start and finish each task. In manufacturing, Scheduling in operation management is often done using computer software that considers various constraints such as available resources, customer demand, and production capacity. The final process is controlling. There are four steps in this process which are monitor, compare, revise, and action. First, the operation manager must make sure there are high customer interaction with the staff and also a high quality product. Then, the progress of management need to be compared for some period to make sure there are not any error in the production process of the goods or foods must be efficient for the customer. Revive process must be done with the review or survey from the customer. For example, every five to seven years, the management of Harrow Cafe take inventory out, bring back to Orlando to refurbish and replace with the new merchandise. Lastly, the action or maintenance must be done and be prepared for any unexpected events. Now, I would like to answer the question number one, which is asked us about identify nine operation management strategy. First, service and product design. Hard Rock Cafe applies service and design decision to maintain ambience and brand image. The second one is the quality management, which is regular surveys are taken to check the quality of the Hard Rock Cafe management. The third one is the location. Market research is applied to determine whether the market can support Hard Rock Cafe in terms of revenue and profit targets while industry statistics are used to determine whether the company's expansion to additional location is feasible. I will continue for the question number one. The fourth operation management strategy is layout design. Hard Rock Cafe regarding layout design by assessing the expected number of business operation. The fifth one is the job design. Hard Rock Cafe operations management is focused on optim optimizing job suitability with employees while making it easier for employees to do their jobs to maximize efficiency. The, the sixth one is supply chain management. The organization keeps on changing the interior of location. This is the last part for question number one to identify nine operation management strategy. The seventh one is inventory management, which is hard rock cafe operations, management use, demand fluctuation, and historical records to predict needed charge in inventory, then adjusted accordingly. The eight, the eight point for operation management is scheduling, which is Hard Rock Cafe makes decisions in scheduling by evaluating current operation activities. The last one, which is number nine, is maintenance. Hard Rock Cafe also has standards and policy on how maintenance should be performed by reference to the qualifications of the maintenance staff or service provider. Question number two, how will you determine the productivity of the kitchen staff and wait staff at Harrow Cafe? Harrow Cafe determines the productivity of its human resources including kitchen staff and wait staff through a set of well-defined quantitative and qualitative criteria that reflect performance. 
For quantitative example, operation manager use customer complaints and comments to qualitatively monitor kitchen staff and wait staff productivity. Haro Cafe used this quantitative and qualitative productivity criteria to assess specific performance aspects of its human resource. Since the kitchen staff and wait staff at Haro Cafe has time interval to make customer demand, the quantitative productivity of kitchen staff will be calculated with the number of meals produced per day divided by the labor hours used to produce the output which is the meals. It is the ratio of quantity of requests satisfied by the kitchen staff to the quantity of things requested by customer. Meanwhile, the productivity of wait staff will be calculated with the number of customers served in a day divided by labor hours worked by the wait staff. It is the ratio of the quantity of requests that the wait staff served to the quantity of things requested by customer. For question 3, it asks for the comparison between Hard Rock Cafe and Ford Motor Company in line operation management. First, managing quality. Hard Rock Cafe using firm's quality standard while Ford using random batch tests and quality evaluation. Second, process strategy. Hard Rock Cafe refers to internal business processes. Internal business processes include food preparation, order routing, reservation, etc. And Ford pioneered the assembly line method which maximizes production quality, production capacity. Third, location strategy. Hard Rock Cafe are based on market analysis and industrial analysis, while four ensure strategic benefits of its facility location, dealership location are based on market size. For the fourth operation management is layout strategy. Hard Rock Cafe using efficient workflow in the limited space available in these facilities while for maximize efficiency of work, work, workflows and resources. For human resources, Hardcore Cafe through an analysis of needs and expectation of the company of its employees, but for maximize human resources, effectiveness and efficiency. Six, supply chain, chain management. Hardcore Cafe are using based on market demand, variety of suppliers and inventory management costs among other factors. Meanwhile, for using streamlining and cost effectiveness in the supply chain. Vertical integration strategy. Next for inventory management. Operation management uses demand fluctuation and historical records to predict changes needed in the inventory for Hard Rock Cafe. And for use this income manufacturing methods, which is points to market best inventory decisions. For scheduling, Haru Kife evaluating current operational effectiveness while, while for using automated scheduling and semi-automated scheduling. And last but not least, for maintenance. Haru Kife use comparative, comparative evaluation of asset, assets and the firm standards while for using combination of strategies for HR, IT, manufacturing, and other areas. Assalamualaikum. My name is Wan Ahmad Buddha and now I'm going to present about the question 4. There are five factors that need to consider when opening a new cafe. For the first one is location and market analysis. Uh, it is because they need to conduct a two market, two market analysis to identify potential sites with high food cafe proximity to tourist attraction or entertainment hub that align with the hard rock cafe brand. So that is important thing because uh, the manager need to find a strategic place. And then the second is branding and team integration. It need to ensure the new cafe retains the same brand essence by seamlessly integrating the iconic hard rock team, which is uh, incorporate rock and roll memorabilia, uh, music like piano and guitar, and a lively atmosphere while also incorporating element of local culture to make it the relevant to the chosen location. So the third one is supply chain and menu adaptation. Uh, it because to establish a reliable supply chain by carefully assessing local supplier for sourcing fresh and high quality ingredient such as for food and also the drinks 
and adapt the menu to cater the local tester and jewelry preference to attract a broader customer base. So uh, next is compliance and regulation. So I think uh, this is the most important factor when uh, we want to open a new cafe because uh, it priorities compliance with local law and regulation by obtaining all necessary permits and also the leasing for operating a full established adhering to health and safety uh, and also the any other relevant legal requirement uh, we also know that uh, if we don't have any lesson we cannot start the cafe and the last one is staffing and also the training so it focus on requiring and training the right staff who are passionate about the brand and customer oriented. It also implementing adequate training program to familiarize them with hard work cafe's value, service standard, and also the operational procedure. So here there are some uh, most important factor when someone need, uh, want to open a new cafe. So that's all for me. Thank you. Next is cost involved. There are two costs in the cost involved, which are the first is variable cost and the second is fixed cost. Now I'm going to present about the variable cost, which is quality cost. The variable cost uh, usually change depend on the situation. So for the example, we have storage cost, value cost and lead chain, cost for material from different supplier, utilities cost, sales commission, and also the packaging cost. So we take one example, such as utilities cost. So in utilities, we have uh, water and also the electric. So we don't know how many we use the electric or also the water uh, in one month. So that's why we put uh, it in the variable cost because uh, it's always changed uh, in every month. Next is fixed cost. Fixed cost is the constant cost that manager need to pay at least I think every month. Uh, so for example, for the fixed cost is internet cost, salary for the worker and security guard, you do you need an operation and insurance to make sure they can operation at the place every day and also have a backup like insurance. Then uh, advertising cost and the last one is administrative cost. So the all cost is important for the cafe. We take one example such as internet cost. So the internet cost is a uh, important thing I think because uh, the worker need to keep in the data of the money out and in from the cafe and also the important thing that can use the internet. Okay, thank you for me. Hi again, so now I will present about how to reduce or minimize the cost. It's divided to two costs, which is variable cost and also fixed cost. For variable cost, the first one, we need to use raw material that in season if it's still okay. For example, for this month, we buy uh, a raw material, uh, for example, onion, cocoa powder, sugar, and in the, at the end of the month, we have the balance of this raw material and we can use this um, balance for the next month and just buy the uh, adding some or little to add the quantity of the raw material for abrasion the next month. The next one is implement just in time inventory practice. The third one is order the raw material from the same supplier. It is because uh, some of the other supplier will charge the higher price uh, to us. 
For example, for the same supplier that we always buy, it will charge uh, about 100 uh, ringgit per, per kilogram for the king crab, but the B supplier will charge us 105 ringgit for one kilogram of king crab. So we need to use the same supplier, either uh, this B supplier. And the last one is using standardized packaging size. The second one is fixed cost. In order to minimize the cost, we need to minimize the worker if the cafe have less customer. So that uh, if we have a, a lots of worker than the customer, we will lose a lot of money and also uh, less profit. The second one is we need to find the warehouse that have the low market price to rent. So for this case, we need to do uh, some comparison. Uh, between the warehouse that we found and we need to be smart in order to choose the best one at having the low price. The third one, we need to hire the experienced worker to control the administrative department and the last one, use the digital platform for advertising hard rock cafe product. It is because as we know, the digital platform is very wide and very powerful for advertising and also it can increase our work profits. This is our last subtopic which is conclusion and I will conclude that operation management at Hard Rock Cafe become the most important factor of its successful in sales, customer service and also expanding the worldwide branch. Furthermore, operation manager jobs are crucial and challenging as to provide for the well-being of society, fulfill the demand and successful deliver the goods and service to customer. That's all from us. Thank you.